It's their season to shine, soak up the sun, and make a splash. But what appears to be a dream job of cruising up and down on the James River and on the many waterways in and around Hampton Roads is a whole lot more than you realize. Because when it comes to constant training, serving, protecting, and enforcing the laws, the Newport News Police Department Marine Unit is making waves year-round. Because you never know what a day will bring out on the water. Yeah, most people think that uh, all we do is go out on the water and sit and put our shades on and lay in the sun and get a suntan and uh, it's completely different. Most people are completely fooled. They think uh, all we're out here doing is uh, kissing uh, babies and shaking hands and uh, every day is sunny and 70. Um, no, we go out if it's February 3 o'clock in the morning during a thunderstorm, we're out there. Uh, if it's like today, nice calm day, uh, we still have to be out here. I believe it's extremely important for the city to have a marine unit. Um, with the amount of waterways we have and the distance and the type of water that we have, I mean, it's extremely dangerous out here on the James. And to be able to assist the boaters that are out here, I mean, this is a, a huge recreational spot for boaters. Uh, people come as far as North Carolina and Maryland um, to come here to go fishing. And it's an extremely large industrial spot. Uh, we have, of course, the shipyard here, the coal piers, uh, APCO fuels, and the reserve fleet, Surrey Nuclear Power. All of these areas are right in the middle of the recreational boater. And so we need to make sure that when people come out that they are safe, that there's somebody there that can come out and get them when they fall into trouble. And as far as education, we, we have to educate the public on what they need to be out here on the water and to have a safe day. Good afternoon, Captain. We'll be coming along your port side, your port side for a vessel safety inspection. Safety is our number one concern. The majority of our day is doing vessel inspections to make sure that the people that are out here on the water have the proper safety equipment and if they don't have the proper safety equipment we make sure that they do have it as well as education as well. A lot of people think that you buy a boat as long as it floats that you can go out on the water and they don't realize the, the safety issues that comes with it and then the dangers that come along with it as well. It's good that the, the state of Virginia has put together a law where by 2016 that every boater 65 or under is going to have to have a boater safety course. So we educate the people on that, try to make sure that they have all their safety stuff and just to enlighten them on the safety aspects of what goes on the water as well as the dangers that are on the water. That way they, they know full scale what goes on out here and what could happen. It's good for 30 days. If we come up on you in the next 30 days, just tell us that you were inspected and we'll ask you for the pink copy. We'll check the date and stuff like that and then we'll be on your way. Training out on the water is critically important. We're constantly training, even on a daily basis when we're out here. Um, if we're out here for our, our regular day out on the water, we're constantly focusing on training. If we're not doing the vessel inspections or uh, we're not doing a body recovery or, or a search and rescue, we're focusing on training. All right, uh, what we're doing today is uh, training on the side scan sonar. The side scan, it's called a tow fish. It looks like a small missile that we tow behind the boat. It's tethered to the boat and it runs on what's called 900 to 1800 kilohertz range. It's a, basically an acoustic device. It sends a sound signal down to the, to the ocean floor. It reflects off the ocean floor and gets beamed back to the, to the towfish. The towfish will pick up that imaging and the difference in wavelengths as it comes back is depicted as an image. Right now we're running at the 900 kilohertz at 100 feet. I'll show them lengths and images and so they can tell how big an object is under the water. This is the Cumberland and you can see the sides of the ship here, and these are actually the ribs that are still attached. So this will help them understand that if we're looking for a gun, it needs to be these settings. If we're looking for a sunken boat, it can be these settings. Training is extremely important for us on the boat because it, it's stuff that if you don't use it, you do lose it out here. Everything we do, you have to keep up to date and current because of the situations we do face. We have to keep up with how to drive the boat. Different, we have to do different rescues in different kind of situations we face. 
and the training we do for that is what sets us up for whether it's going to be failure or we succeed at what we go to do and we like to go out there and succeed so we do training is extremely important for us out here on the water. When we're out on the water on a daily basis we never know what we're going to find. We can be running search and rescues or search patterns to uh, vessel inspections. We do everything from drug interdiction to looking for sea turtles. So if the endangered animals like this, we try and figure out what happened to it and why it died and how that occurs. That, that assists all the environmental agencies to understand more about the turtle's life. So we'll come out here and, and assist them in any way we can to recover their bodies. Uh, we have the tools and the, and the ability necessary to, to lift these type of animals. Uh, some of them can get up to five to 800 pounds. So we'll assist in any way we can to, to pull them from the water so it helps out with the research. I love what I do, I love my job. Doing what I did on the street um, as a regular patrol unit prepared me for the advanced things I'm doing here on the boat. Just to reassure the citizens that we're, we're out here 365 days a year, we are on call 24 hours a day. We'll be here nonstop, whether it's hot, cold, wind, rain, we're out here. We're here to assist the public in any way we can, to educate, to keep them safe, and if need be, to help rescue them when they're in the water.